Hey, what's up guys? Thank you so much for watching. Now, there is so much data out there today when it comes to monitors with 60 hertz versus 144 hertz, 60 frames per second versus 144 frames per second, and even console gaming versus PC gaming. Hence why I'm taking the more practical approach when it comes to this particular video. Most of us also know that IPS monitors are definitely better when it comes to color reproduction, and TN panel monitors are much better when it comes to gaming. Hence why I have this particular ViewSonic XG2401 monitor right here. Now this monitor of course is placed in ViewSonic's mid-range 24-inch gaming monitor which features FreeSync. Now for those of you who do not know what FreeSync is, basically it's an adaptive sync technology to remove screen tearing which of course is in response to Nvidia's G-Sync. Now this monitor does also come with dual HDMI input and a display port for those who are looking at gaming above 60 frames per second. Now to ensure comfort for prolonged gaming, you can simply adjust the monitor's height up to 4.7 inches easily and also tilt it 22 degrees forward and 5 degrees backwards. Now the additional headphone hook at the rear end of the monitor does also provide a certain degree of convenience for those who often game with headphones. Now with a max resolution and refresh rate of 1080p at 144Hz, this is definitely no stranger in the whole gaming scene. Now TN panels are a must if you're looking at 1 millisecond response rate which eliminates ghosting but of course at an expense of color and image quality as compared to IPS panels. Now just for the record, the last view Sonic monitor I had never actually looked this good. So I would think that from a design point of view, the XG2401 has indeed stepped up its design game. Now the whole black chassis, red trimmings would definitely appeal to those who are into matching their whole color scheme of their whole setup. Quickly jumping into a few rounds of Rainbow Six, we noticed very minimal amount of ghosting and thanks to the super fast 144Hz, games were smooth as butter but given the fact that we are running on an Nvidia GPU, we couldn't fully unleash the true potential of this monitor. I would also think that a non-gamer wouldn't actually benefit much when it comes to a high refresh rate monitor because they would rather opt for a much more accurate display instead. Now from a pixel density point of view, 24 inch sorta hits the sweet spot when it comes to 1080p gaming. But you know what, that's my personal opinion. If you disagree, feel free to leave them in the comment section below as well and I'll be more than happy to discuss it. Now this monitor does also come with 3 years manufacturer's warranty and you could purchase them at eTech PC for 1199 obviously 1199 ringgit, just under 1200 ringgit. So when it comes to value for money against its other competitors, it's placed pretty alright. Now obviously I'm going to leave a link in the description section below as well for you to check out the monitor if you want more details about it or if you want to check out more on this spec specifically. And of of course, a big shout out to eTech PC and of course ViewSonic Malaysia for making this happen. Thank you so much guys, you guys are awesome. Now leave your comments in the comment section below as well and of course hit the subscribe button if you have not and give me a big thumbs up if you like this video and share it around if you found this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you in my next one. Bye bye.